Hello guys and welcome to my new let's play in Europe Universalis 4 with the Conquest of Paradise expansion that just came out. So this should be fun. Um, so yeah, I think in this let's play we're going to be playing as one of the Native American tribes uh, because, you know, that's new and fancy. Uh, the expansion does, you know, focus quite a lot on these nations, so I think that'll be fun. Of course, they have added some different nations uh, other than the Native Americans as well. You can see, for example, over here, uh, the Swahili has been split up into like a bunch of these small states. Although, I think that's like the only other thing they did. Um, but, you know, worth mentioning. Uh, so, uh, the nation that I decided on playing will be the Patawata... No. Pat... Fuck. P Pot... Potawatomi. Pot... I, I, I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> Just not right now. Uh, so that should be fun. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing as the Potawatomi. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, I, I think they're kind of cool. I mean, they, they're kind of central in this blob of a bunch of different nations. Plus, they're one province minor, which means they can migrate. And migration is, from what I've heard, like a good way to get your points so that you can advance quicker. So what I'm thinking is that we can just like migrate, uh, you know, like uh, in these provinces right here, just go back and forth and just harvest points, and just uh, get super advanced super quickly. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, but enough talking. Let's get into the game. So I'm gonna do uh, Iron Man mode because you know that's just what you do, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna do the random new world simply because I just, I just, I don't know. I've, I've. Feel, I, I kind of want to do at least one game here in the beginning without the random new world. I mean, because to be honest, I don't actually like it that much. I think it's a very cool thing, indeed. But uh, I just, I, I'm not too much of a fan of it, to be completely honest. But, um, well, well so, I mean, people are different and whatnot. So, let's get into the game and see what we can do. Yeah, there you can see my, <laughs> my previous attempt at uh, doing a Let's Play of a Native American. That didn't go so well. Uh, so let's try again. Let's try again. LP native because I'm too lazy to <laughs> too lazy to try and write this name out. Um, so I mean, I guess the advantage of playing as these guys before is that I've learned a couple of things. Uh, the main one being that people start spamming troops really quickly. Uh, your neighbors, that is. So I think. We are going to try and do some serious day one wars to try and grow uh, very quickly. Uh, so I want to invade the Fox, I know that much. But I do also think that I might want to invade Miami. Because like it seems like, like day one and everyone just has alliances all over the place. Uh, so I think maybe doing some day one wars might be good. Especially if we get an ally. Uh, oh yeah, we can get a bunch of allies. Let's get the Shawnee. So what I'm thinking we could do is that we could try and... We could try and ask them to join a war against Miami. And we can try and just let them do the work. Uh, and, you know... Because uh, that's, that's what you do with allies, right? And then I'll, on the mean, I'll, in the meantime, I will invade Fox and take them out. And... I mean, if we can do that sort of in the beginning, then we'll, you know, we'll be quite powerful. Uh, or not, you know, that not that powerful, but we'll be a little bit more powerful than we otherwise would be. So let's try that. It's a little bit risky, but I mean, it's early in the campaign, so I can always just restart this Let's Play <laughs> if I fail. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try and declare war day one on Miami. Uh, oh no, I can't do that. I need to wait for the Shawnee to... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, maybe I won't do that then. Maybe I won't do that. Let's try and spam some troops, though. Let's do one of these sort of as a starter. The reason why I'm doing mercenaries instead of regular troops is because I want to beat the other tribes to the race. Because, I mean, right now it's a race. It's all about getting... Uh, so did they get... Yeah, they did get allies. And they allied to the Huron... Uh, fuck. Huron as well. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to... Invade the Miami anytime soon, then. Because uh, Shawnee is decently powerful and whatnot, but I mean, look at these provinces. Look, what what's up with the tax? That's some crazy base tax you got going there, Huron. They're powerful, that's for sure. 
Okay, let's go again. Yeah, they don't have any allies. So let's go again. Let's go against them instead. Then, Here's, could I fabricate a claim against these guys? Natives cannot fabricate claims. Oh, oh well, that's sad. Can I declare war anyways? Well, never mind. They have ally to Shawnee. Well, derp. Herp, herp, derp, 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 derp. Well, fuck. Well, all of a sudden, my position <laughs> was not that awesome after all. Um, shite. Um, I don't know what to do then. Okay, let's not let, let, let's not give up. I'm not gonna restart this a second time. That's embarrassing in itself. So let's invade Fox and let's let's just do it immediately so that they don't get any more troops. Oh, an allies from the Iroquois. Now you see, this might be good because they could invade the Huron and the. These derps can invade these guys, and then I can invade Fox. Or is that too complicated? <laughs> would they even join? Like, if I were, if I went full derp and I declare war on these guys, who would join me? Both would join me. So this is a golden opportunity, I think. Oh, they have allied to more people. They're allied to Cherokee. Oh god, we're just gonna start native war too. World war native. I don't know. By pressing this button. Man, that's harsh. But, I mean, in theory, I'm not the one that's going to be fighting. That's not my job. Fuck it, let's try and be risky in the beginning. Let's see if we can pull this off. So I'm going to declare war. And do the stupid thing of declaring war on Fox. At the same time, or not, because we can't. Fuck. Okay, never mind then. Let's see how this spirals out of control. Okay, so now we're at war with, like, all the things. Like, so fuck, we're... We are literally at war with all the things. Luckily though, Miami is a war leader, so if we can just take them, we should win. Now, because if they're going in to do that, that's fine. Now, I really want to invade Fox. Not so much because I want to invade Fox, because I just I just want to get out of here. I, I don't want to be in... Um, I have a feeling the Huron is going to... They're just going to, they're just going to invade me day one. We're not, yeah, we're not invade... I mean, I'm. we're already at war, so that makes sense and all, but... The thing is, they... Um, they are going to, or maybe they're going to go in here. I don't even know. To be honest, no. Nope, here they come. Can I declare war, please? I cannot. Fuck. Can I get away then? Uh, I can. Good. 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 Well, let's retreat. Let's stand here and derp about. Okay. Now they're retreating. That's what I want. That's what I like to see. Now, oh god. Okay, now it's a race for... <laughs> it's a seed race now. If we can take this before they can take that, then we win. And if the opposite is true, then they win. Oh shit, this is this is a terrible idea. Oh my god. Oh yes! Oh shit! Oh, glorious Native American stuff and things. So I'm gonna make them a vassal, I'm not gonna annex them. Uh, that's because I don't want to become bigger than one province, because if I do that, I can't migrate, and I wanna migrate, because, you know, that's what you do as a Native American. You migrate. That's like the thing. It's like the thing to do. So let's get some money to pay for those mercenaries that we had to hire. This takes forever for some reason. Can I just do this in bigger bulks? No? Not 51, that's awesome though. Can't show strength. Uh, let's... we can transfer trade power. We can oh yeah, and and all all the things. Sweet, this looks like a great peace deal. Peace deal, wow, good, good, perfect. Now guess who's next? Fox, I'm coming for you. You better believe it. Better believe it, man. You better be. Ah, Miami, Miami is already trained some troops, so good. So they have five, we have four, but if they join up, uh, so if I declare one of these fuckers now. Will they, you know, here's the thing, can I declare war on these guys now? No, we gotta border them, it's not enough that our vassals border them. Because I don't know, should I keep these, no, I want to vassalize them. Because I could try and keep them alive so that I can use them as a nation to constantly declare war on in order to uh, get that, oh, what is, yeah, show of strength, which is basically just gives you power for winning a war, which is pretty damn awesome. Of course, we could. We, I mean, we might have to declare war on like Huron, but they. Oh man, they're dang, they. They are so dangerous, though. Fucking. Uh, I guess uh, if one of 
Oh, uh, well... Maybe if some of these natives here migrate over to this place, then we could do it, because this is a border right here. Uh, because that... No, we won't actually border them, because we won't... Ah, fuck it. I'll just get my points by migrating, if I can take these guys, that is. I mean, that's not even sure that that's going to happen, so... Yeah. Getting a little bit ahead of myself here. So, let's get some more mercs. Because, are you recruit? No, you're, they're not then they are not recruiting. So, I'll... I'll use that to my, for my... 15 days! How much for... Oh, I guess it wasn't that much difference from mercenaries and regular troops then. Well, I wasted money. Go me. Yeah, let's get some more troops and we'll see if we can convince these fuckers to die. You know, that's what you, Unless they have allies. They have no allies! They're so dumb! Ha! Huh. More troops! The tribe must be strengthened. Go, 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 go! No time to lose! We've got tribes to conquer, man! Uh, improve our prestige. Pr prestige. Well, that's a doable. <gasps> One stability! Oh! Repair relations with Fox? No. Uh, so I need to own Michigan in order to complete this one. I'm, I'm not gonna annex them, so that's not a good mission. No, none of these missions are good. I guess I could do... No, let's do... Oh, let's do this one. This is just so good. Getting one stability. I love missions that give you stability. They're the best. So no one's gonna join me. Well, fuck you guys. I didn't even... I don't need your help. I don't like you. I think they just understood that I used them for my own gains. Oh, well. So let's declare war. And let's uh, try and convince our vassal to come over here. Come on, little vassal. You're not gonna come here. Attach... Oh, did I just... I just recruited a bunch of mercenaries. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted regular troops. Oh, well, I'm stupid. Fuck. <laughs> uh, now they have six guys? Oh, come on. Dude, get over here. Now. You're just gonna stand there, aren't you? Attached to... Well... I don't know what... I don't know what that... Let's try and convince them to join. Let's go over there. And let's try and get them with us. So now, if I go back now, will you follow me? You won't follow me! No, yes they will. Okay, good! That's what I wanted to see. That's what I want. Now, if we attack, they will join us. Which is exactly how it should be. Let's gamble that this is a victory. Looks like it will be that. Yeah, this should work out. Yeah, it worked out alright. Ah! Some of them are going to go over here. Too bad. Now, I want to finish them off, though. I want to finish them off. So let's go annihilate their army. And that's how that's done. So now let's go over there. Uh, lose power or lose power? Oh, come on. I don't know. Lose power or lose power? Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Bur we are a fucking tribe. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bourgeois? I, I... Okay. I don't even know. Um, I, I guess I don't know. I guess I don't know that much about Native American history. Grant them privileges or deny them? So what do we need? So here's the thing that we need to focus on. We need to get these ideas. I would love to get a colonist. Clan migration. That's just so cool. Of course, we might want to conquer some more land. Like, just straight out conquer stuff before we do that. And since I want to focus on migration now early, early on to gather up points... We might just want to do one of these things, like to get more taxes and whatnot, so I'll I'll just lose the diplomacy, maybe? Although, no, let's lose the military, actually. We're gaining a lot of military really fast compared to the other ones. Let's go in and lose military, which we can't do. I'm stupid like that, am I? Yeah. Well, are any of these very good? Diploma oh, reputation, that's really good. Because that's going to give us... Um, can we can't take a l Need all native advancements. Yes, yeah, so we need. We, it's but you, you don't have to only choose one of them. So, yeah, you'll be able to change government type. Huh. Okay. Sorry for not doing much. I'm just thinking a lot. That's it. My great. Ooh, tra that's good. Because if we're gonna travel a lot, then that would be very nice. So yeah, let's lose the uh, the administrative. Let's spend the rest on um, stability. Actually, I like to ha I like to be at a I, li I like to just stay at plus one because it's good, you know. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. 
let's go ahead and get rid of some of this army. We don't need the mercs. Like, strictly speaking. I mean, they've, they've served... No, let's go suicide them over here. Not suicide them. We'll go derp them over here and let them annihilate, annihilate the army. Put them to good use. And get them killed in the process. And I'll just disband them. They did, they did their job. It's fine. Let's go. Siege this this shit. So we have a lot of diplomats. So I think we're going. I think I'm going to go in and talk to these people here. Make sure they love us in all kinds of ways. Just so that we uh, they don't break. I don't want. I, I really, really want to keep these alliances. That they're cordial and they're kind or friendly. So yeah, we should be good. We are. This is a good start. I'm happy with this. Happy with this indeed. All right. Now uh, let's wait. Be patient and all. That's what you are. But these guys not gonna disband. They're just gonna stand there and look funny. I don't know. Hello, rebels. Now that's just ah, oh, that's beautiful. Fuck you, Huron. Oh man. How many troops do they have? Who are they allied to? It's so tempting to just invade them. Or I have a truce with them. Yeah, I have a truce with them. Fuck. Oh well. I guess it was worth it. D uh, do any... Only Huron has claims on this shit, right? Yeah, no other nations have that. But well, what we could do is... If we ever conquer some more stuff, we might be able to feed it to our vassals. The question... Is that even possible? Of course, that might not be very smart, because that mean, that's going to mean that our vassal is going to be stronger than we are. And that's never a good thing, so... Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, any one of these going to give us more diplomats? No? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe if we invade... The, yeah, if, if I ever, ever, ever invade these guys, I'm going to see if I can sell this province to Miami. Because I have a feeling if I annex this, then these guys are not going to accept buying it because it does not border them. That's the kind of bullshit that usually happens. Um, like, I don't know, but I just don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it, because this start has been so good so far. I don't want to mess this up. So do like that. Uh, give me your trade power, even though it really doesn't matter at all. Give me your monies. And, uh, I don't want to offer tributes. Uh, what else? There's really nothing else we can do. They don't have treaties, they don't have nothing. Okay. Let's send the demands. There it is. Uh, so, people should be hating on us a little bit now, right? Well, no, they're fine. It's not that big of a deal. Our, my vassals don't like that I expanded this much, but it's fine. It should be fine. Okay, uh, what's our force limits at? Well, how much can we have? We can have four. Even with two vassals? Really? I really thought vassals contributed to... Uh, manpower, and, or not manpower, um, force limits. I guess they don't. Alright, let's see if we can keep this. What? Huron? No! Well, I don't like you either, Huron. You can, you suck dick. Just, just throwing it out there. Wow, independent supported. Yeah, that's a new thing, isn't it? I didn't, oh, fuck, I didn't think about that. Oh, shit. Oh, we can do this. Do a decision. Less revolt risk. Ah, eh, no, not really. Ah, uh, no one's no one no no one's interested in revolting. So no, we're fine. We're fine. It's cool. It's good. Now I want to annex these guys. As, no, not actually as quickly as possible. Uh, how long until we can annex them, anyways? Uh, not that long, actually. About ten years. Even a, maybe even a little bit less than that. So in ten years, we'll be able to do two. Migrations, we can like go there and back again, get some points. Good thing about going over here would be that we don't, we no longer need to border the Huron. Of course, we will border these guys, and they might start, they might start hating on me if I do that. Let's try and be friends with them, or well, not friends. Let's just try and be like not super hardcore parkour enemies, because they are dangerous, very dangerous to my survival. Of course, once I too get three provinces, then we're talking. Uh, so, and now I really don't know what to do. Because we don't border any more uh, one province miners, and we can't really migrate to anyone either. And all of these people have, like, scary ass... Come on, people! 
Everyone, you're free to migrate to this place. I wouldn't mind that. Hmm, maybe I should keep. No, I, I'm pleased with this. I like getting strong in the beginning, yet still being able to um, uh, migrate. Why can't I speak? So now we're just gonna sit around and do nothing for a while. So that's fine. Uh, so we're earning money actually. Hey, we're earning a lot of money. So we can actually probably afford another unit. We're gonna go over a limit by doing that, but... Hey, look at that! They have, like, unique things. Oh yeah, let's get a prestige person. Let's get that instead of more troops, because that'll give us uh, a 50 prestige, which will give us another um, stability. And that's good. It's funny how the Native Americans have unique pictures. But, you know, like the Chinese? Nah, they don't have jack shit. <laughs> Priorities, man. Oh yeah, that's right, we can build buildings now, because we're like... Because, you know, stuff. Because uh, uh, natives get unique buildings, right? So we can, yeah, basically build... Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. So, local defensiveness. Well... If we migrate, I think we'll lose all our buildings, so doing this, we might want to think this through before we build anything. Because I'm, I want to migrate. At least I want to try it at least once, just to see how, how it works, you know? So, migration is possible, lose control over blah 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 blah, that's fine. Should we build a building just for the lol's local map? No, I don't need that. Diplom Ooh, s diplomatic reputation plus three. It's gonna be amazing once we start annexing our vassals. Fuck yeah, that's that's awesome. Oh, imagine combining that, like three plus from that, getting this thing that'll give no. Um, uh, yeah, this one, another plus that'll be plus six, and and if we can then at the same time get an advisor, that'll give us plus five. I mean, oh, wow, 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 wow. Of course, I don't actually know what reputation does otherwise than helping you annex vassals quicker. I know it... Uh, I don't actually know. I'm not that good at this game. I guess we can build one and see how it works. Although being... Oh man, plus one in tax. Wow, that's gonna be huge. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Yeah, go. Buildings. Can we build... Uh, can we only have one thing in each province? Or can we have like a, a lot of things in different provinces? I don't know. Free military leader. Yeah, that's bullshit actually, because we actually have to pay power for it, so... Oh, come on, eat my... Eat my sh... It's such a douchey thing! The end is nigh! No, it's not. It's fucking... Ugh. <laughs> Who let the rage out? Uh, No, this is nothing. Just go away, fucking stupid event. Shit. <laughs> Well, at least we should get 50 prestige soon, and that'll give us uh, another, um... That'll give us another one of... No, we're losing yearly. What the hell? Why am I hiring you then? You suck. A lot. Can I just kick you? No, the, he... I mean, he does provide me points, and I do want my points, so... Can we have... No, can't afford another one. So I'll just leave it at this, I guess. Uh, so this is our guy. How good is the air? We don't have an air. Maybe we just don't get to see it? I don't know. I don't know, man. Some new expansion and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think this would be a good place to end this. Uh, so let's just end it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play European Universalis, The Conquest of Paradise as the Potawato... Fuck. Something. And <laughs> until next time, bye.